So match number 24, it is Nigeria versus Iceland. So Nigeria will start like this in Zemwa in goal, Amarero, Balagon, Abdullahi, Ichilahi, Iwobi, Nindi, Moses, Obi Mikel, Ignacio and Musa up front. As for everybody's favourite, Iceland will line up like this. Christensen go, Arneson, Saverson, Sigurdsson, Gunnarsson, Goodmanson, Bajarnason, Gilfie, Sigurdsson, Halfredson, Budvartsson and Kajansson. That's every man and his son for Iceland. Nigeria will get match 24 underway. And Nigeria looking good thus far. They've opened up with a win. As it stands, it's still a very tight uh, tight group. We'll see how it all pans out. As Iceland get a lucky early bit of prep, uh, pr uh, uh, attacking possession. And it's parried. And uh, Nigeria can breathe again. Nice slick passing. A win for here for Nigeria would pretty much book their ticket into the next round. However, a defeat for Iceland... Would it be doom and gloom? We've got one point thus far. Just like Argentina, who failed to win against Croatia, it is still all up, up in the air. Uh, lot to, it's, it's, it's hard. Anyway, we'll talk more about that later. So this match will take place in the real world on the 22nd of June at the Volongrad Arena, which is in Volongrad, as Nigeria tried to float a ball into that top left-hand corner, but the Icelandic cool as you like keeper picks it out and he puts it long towards midfield and it's collected nicely as uh, Iceland try to score their first goal of the World Cup I think Inigiaccio got a couple for Nigeria against Croatia as the Nigerian defense or was that attack keeps Iceland at bay but here they come again they're looking good at the moment Iceland in their traditional purpley kind of blue shirt. Nice pass. That shot is blocked. Nigeria now will go. Now, the history of these two sides between them. They played one game prior to this. And it ended up being a 3-0 win for Nigeria. And that was all the way back in 1981. It was a friendly. 3-0 victors. As Nigeria start peppering the goal. So, in our simulation, in our simulated world, Nigeria opened up with a 1-0 win. They think I thought it was 2-0. I do apologise. I thought it was a 1-0 win. And Nichiachio with the goal. That I do know. Iceland picked up a valuable 0-0 draw against Argentina. But, if you're not aware, the last match of this group between them was... Uh, sorry, in this group, Group uh, D, Argentina failed to win against Croatia. In fact, Croatia picked up the all three points uh, which gives them now three points Argentina on one point if the results stayed like this Nigeria will be on four points and, and Iceland will be on two points so Argentina would be bottom uh, they would not be out but they would have to beat Nigeria and then hope for what would they need they would probably need a draw I think but then it, it's all about goal difference and, and results. But here come Iceland now. They could change the whole spin of things if they could get a shot. And that is not a bad effort. Keeper parries. Very good save. Hollywood save, I would say. Nigeria now looking to, to counter. Nice pass. Keeps it alive. He gets it back. As we crawl on towards the four-minute mark, which is the halfway mark. If you're unaware, we play two four-minute halves. And that ball is out for a throw. Currently nil nil our Nigeria Iceland. What is left in store for this group? Iceland with a throw in. It's headed onwards. Iceland go again. Looking for that crucial pass that will set up the space for the shot. Right now, Nigeria doing the business. They're just doing enough to keep Iceland uh, out of this game. Nigeria now putting on some pressure might be able to squeeze in a shot themselves but no fortunate bounce there oh that is so close to opening up the scoring 
Uh, we've reached the allocated four minutes time and that's your half, nil nil. So, second half gets underway, Iceland to kick us off. There we go. Iceland making their debuts at the World Cup. Nigeria seem to be ever present these days. Seem to be doing all that's required in the African qualifying phase. So if you enjoyed this retro experience, this nostalgic look back at the 90, uh, FIFA 95 with a 2018 spin, give me a thumbs up. I, I do appreciate any thumbs up. I also appreciate any comments that you have. If you enjoyed these videos, have any suggestions, uh, maybe I've got the teams completely wrong, which I feel I probably have. Let me know in the comments. Also, just let me know how you feel about the World Cup. Are you excited? Are you uh, a bit nervous? Are you from Italy? Are you from Holland? Are you licking your wounds because you're not going to be there? It, the World Cup is a is a less exciting place without you. I can tell you that for sure. But it's still a huge event. I am looking forward to it. Um, but yes, I would have I loved it if Italy were there. I do. I don't know what it's going to be like for Italy. I don't know when the last time they failed to qualify. But here come uh, Iceland now trying to batter their way through this stubborn Nigerian defense as for Holland uh, I know they've, they've been they've been on a downward spiral for the past five six six years perhaps maybe even after the World Cup they weren't that electric they were good against Spain and then it was they did just enough so yeah it's gonna it's gonna be a, a, a bitter place without them but it's still going to be electric and exciting and an opportunity for teams like Nigeria and Iceland to take advantage of their loss. Iceland have been, uh, they've been, they've been on a roll. Their Euro form was great. Their qualifying form was great. Can they take that into qualifying here against the likes of Nigeria, Croatia and Argentina? Well, they started okay in my simulation with a 0-0 draw against Argentina. Right now, they are grinding out another 0-0 draw against Nigeria. But that elusive hoodoo of trying to find the back of the net still remains... And it will, it will come to the last game against Croatia, where it will matter who scores, I think. I think they'll need to, I think they'll need to win to get themselves to qualify. A, a draw will not be enough for them. So they've got to either win here, or they've got to win against Croatia. Nigeria have already got a win. At this point, we'll, we'll do, them, do them good and get them close enough. I think Argentina will have to come at them. Oh, that's a wicked effort. Wicked effort. Nigerian keeper, though, was equal to it. Great save. Nigeria now. We're into the last, I don't know, 75 seconds. And it's. I think Iceland have been the better side today. But there's still time. Can somebody change... The destiny of this group. Can they open it wide open? Give Argentina. In fact, what would what result would favour Argentina? I think a draw would be good because they would only be one point behind Iceland, and then they would be only three points behind Nigeria with that game against them to come. And here we go, Iceland. They were in prime position of just one more one more step. Maybe they'll get a go here. That's another good effort. Keeper on them. As we're down to the last 20 seconds, can Nigeria find a way through this solid Icelandic defence? Doesn't look like it. It's just one of those games that's going to grind out to a nil-nil draw, it looks. Iceland will probably think uh, they should have won it, so they'll be a little bit bitter, I think, with not getting the three points. And there you have it, Nigeria nil, Iceland nil. And take a look at the statistics. I beg to differ if these are right. Three shots on target for Iceland and only one for Nigeria. As for the goal scorers, there was none. As for the bookings, there was none. And after that result, here's an updated look at the table. Thanks again for watching. Please like, share, and of course, subscribe. Check back each and every day for some hot World Cup content.